Hi guys, it's me Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to create this makeup look just only using the facial. Yes, just using only the facial product. Some of the product are received as PR package and some of them are purchased by myself. So yeah, if you want to know how I'm going to create this look just only using this product, just keep on watching and let's get started. Okay, a good base that we're proving the skin first. I think you already seen this product many times in my video. Like usual, I'm going to use 9-in-1 Skin Solution Toner to prick my skin. Next, move on to the primer. Because I have quite a big pore, so pore smoothing primer is always my pick. Besides that, applying to the pores area, I also apply to my blemish area so my foundation will look flawless and nice. It's time to create a perfect mask. Using the Face Shop Multi Stick Foundation and you can see it does have a white circle at the center. That is a moisture balm that gives hydration and also because of that, it has a brightening effect to the skin too. Then using the brush side and blend it out. Applying concealer to the area that I need more coverage like the under eye area, the side of my nose, my little blemishes, center of my forehead to highlight and also using this concealer as an eye primer too. Then just blend it out with beauty sponge. Now just set everything with the powder. If you love a cosmetic bye bye pores press powder and you are looking for an affordable alternative for it, then try this powder out and you are so in love with it because it is so good and it's much cheaper too. And it has a great oil control too. Okay, done with the base and let's move on to the eyes. Start off by applying nice neutral brow color. Using a fluffy blending brush and apply it to the crease area as a transition shade and also to contour the eyes. Then taking light orange color, apply slightly lower to the crease to blend in the transition color and also to add some dimension. Also, apply to the lower lash line. After that, taking this orange shimmer color, apply it all over to the lid area using the finger. Bring it slightly above the lids to blend together. Then taking the brown color again using a blending brush and make it all blend together. To make it extra special and also to add some drama, I'm taking red color and apply it to the outer corner, I mean to the outer view of the eye, slowly to peel all the intensity because it might looking too harsh and also always put a blending brush beside to blend it out if have any hard edges too. Going back to the orange shimmer color and I place it all over again to the lids to add the intensity of the color and also to blend out the grid color. Then also apply to the lower lash line. Now it's the time for the glam of the eye. This is not from the face shop, it is from BBIA, also a Korean brand. Apply only at the center and because glitter can be easily to fall off everywhere, so I'm just taking little by little, pat it to the eye using a synthetic brush. Then for the lower lash line, using a glitter pencil and apply to the front part and diffuse it to the center. Also apply to the inner corner. Even though this step is kinda useless but I'm still going to curl my short lashes to lift it upward. For the eyeliner, I'm going to use this beautiful burgundy red color to line the eyes. The reason why I'm using this color because not only not to store the shadow of the eyeshadow and it will give an extra special wipe to it. Then to give more dimension and a clearer look, I will go with a brown eyeliner pen for a sharp look. And then put a pair of natural design of falsy to make the eye pop. To make everything come together, I'm going to use this 2-in-1 curling mascara by The Face Shop. I'm going using the big brush to blend the real and fake lashes together. And then change it into the small brush and apply it to the lower lash line as well. Okay, done with the eye and let's move on to the brow. This time, I'm using a brow pen marker to draw my brow following my natural brow shape. Nothing special, yeah. 
Because my brow is pretty dark and I don't want to stand out too much, so I'm going to use a brow mascara to fade it out a little. In overall, it will give a much friendly look too. Next, for the highlight and the contour. First thing first, using a cream contour, apply to the hollow of the cheek as well to my jawline and then using a brush to blend it out. Then to set the contour, I'm going with the contour power, go over to the part where I did the contour again for the extra dimension and also give some warm back to my face. For the blush, I am using a natural peachy flush color on my cheek for some color to my face. And then for the highlight, I am using a pink color beam as an highlight and it surprisingly looks so beautiful on my skin tone. This product will be on my vanity right now. <laughs> Lastly, to the lips, to match the theme, I am choosing a red with a strong orange undertone lipstick. Firstly, apply it to the inner corner of the lips. Then, using a brush to fade it out to create a softer look and then go over again at the inner corner of the lips to create a nice gradient effect. And yeah, this makeup is Huangsen Himida. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you guys enjoy watching this makeup tutorial. So if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also do leave me a comment below if you have anything you want to let me know. You know, I always, always, always love to hear from you guys. Any suggestion, any recommendation, anything you want to let me know, just comment below. And also follow me on my Instagram as well, the chance. And that's it. See you soon on the next video. Love you.